Hi guys, welcome to Absolute Training Nutrition. So today I want to talk to you about uh, carbohydrates and specifically how carbohydrates react when they enter the body. And for a few of you guys that are working with us, why we put you on low carb. So you kind of understand our ethos behind kind of like why we reduce your carbs slightly. So we're going to go into a little bit of detail. So basically, if you can see this board, you've got carbohydrates. All carbohydrates are basically sugar. Um, the way that works is we have complex and we have simple carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates are your breads, pastas, rice, oats, potatoes, that kind of thing. Your simple carbohydrates are your fruit, your fruit juices, your sweets, cakes, biscuits, soda. That basically means that your more complex carbohydrates are slower digesting. Your simple, car simple carbohydrates are faster digesting. That just, that just basically means that your body can access the sugars a lot quicker. These are closer to sugar former so the body can access it instantly. The sugar in these is buried a little bit deeper so the body has to break it down to actually access it. And that's basically it. A little bit, it can be a little bit more complicated than that, but I'm gonna try and keep this video as simple as possible for you guys, all right? So, all carbohydrates enter the gut and they are converted into glucose. So glucose is the quickest way for the body to use energy. So glucose enters the bloodstream, when it enters the bloodstream, the hormone insulin is released. Now, insulin's job is basically to facilitate um, sugar or um, blood glucose um, into muscle and liver. So your body will store sugar or glucose as glycogen in the muscle and in the liver. What happens when you eat enough carbohydrates, you actually fill the liver and you fill the muscle. When you fill the liver and the muscle, that excess glycogen and that excess blood sugar has to be stored somewhere else. The excess blood sugar then is stored in fat cells and it's stored as triglycerides to be used later on when the body needs it. So if you're, if you're quite efficient, um, good muscle, low body fat percentage, your body's gonna be super efficient at doing this because you're using the glucose and the glycogen stored in muscle, you're gonna be using that constantly, so any stored here will get used. Does that, I hope that makes sense. So basically, you become a machine. If you eat, too, you eat a little bit more carbohydrate, your body stores it, you burn it the next day, it releases it from here and gets used. The problems come when we become um, kind of insulin uh, sensitive. So what that actually means is, so I'll get my pen, when we start refilling, we start filling these muscles up constantly so because we're constantly eating a diet of high carbohydrate, high carbohydrate, and we don't move very little, what actually happens is these things become insensitive. These are receptors that are around the muscle and they're also around the fat. So what actually happens is you start losing or start degrading these receptors so they're not as responsive to the muscles, not as responsive to the insulin as it was. What actually happens to your fat is your fat cells get bigger because it's now storing all the excess that you had. Triglycerides are higher in the, in the blood, so when you do go off to your doctor and he does a triglyceride level, he'll say your triglycerides are quite high, which means basically you're saying there's more fat in the blood um, because basically your body's trying to hold onto it as much as possible. This is where you're at high risk of things like atherosclerosis and heart attack and stroke. Okay, so basically, these get bigger, muscle becomes more kind of desensitized. So you start losing your receptors over here and these just basically keep getting bigger. The quickest way to fix that problem is to reduce your carbohydrates, which is why guys, you, some of you guys that are doing our program, and some of you particularly, are on a reduced carbohydrate diet. Because what we want to do is we want to reduce the size of your fat cells Okay, we want to get these back down to a normal size and we want to increase your muscles sensitivity to kind of like insulin. What I mean by that again is why, why a lot of our programs are weight based and people come in and say why are we doing more weight training and we're not doing all the running on the treadmill is because we want to use as much muscle as possible because we want the stored glycogen here to, be, to get lower so we can keep pumping more in so we get less storage over here. 
so we can now start actually reactivating these receptors to do what they should do. I hope that makes sense. So basically the whole point of glycogen and energy use, muscle, we work our muscles, we burn off glycogen, then we eat more carbohydrates, the body can then restore the glycogen level and anything that we eat in excess of will get stored as fat. But because we're moving more, we're using our muscle, we're not eating that many carbohydrates, the body can quite easily use triglycerides later on. Um, so basically the quickest way that we find to get people in the shape that we do is if we reduce, not everybody, because some people are quite efficient in using carbohydrates, but if, you're, if you've had an issue where over years you've gained weight and really struggled to lose it, you'll find that if you actually just reduce your carbohydrates, you don't need to take them out altogether. If you reduce your carbohydrates, you will actually make sure and, and move more and use weight training particularly. You'll use more muscle, burn more glycogen, and then the body will start to fix itself. I look forward to seeing you soon. Um, I hope this video has been useful. If it has, and you're watching this on Facebook right now, I really appreciate if you would share this video. All right, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon.